What's up everybody, it's Buffalo Ben 15 Golf back at it again. We're at the simulator again and today we're gonna to be doing something a little different. We're gonna be doing a closest, um, not really closest to the pin, we're gonna test out the Ultimate Grip Golf Glove on the simulator today. I'm gonna to hit 10 balls with my regular forearm, no enhancements, my regular glove, and then we're gonna hit 10 with my Ultimate Grip system and uh, see which does better. Hopefully Ultimate Grip will do substantially better and uh, we'll also do a close to the pin contest of 10 shots as well. So let's get into it. By the way, I forgot to mention, we're gonna be using four iron. Yeah, I think I said I'm gonna have my regular four iron, no enhancements for the first 10, Ultimate Grip system for the next 10. We did this with the seven iron at Royal Oak, if you guys remember that video, but today we're gonna do it on the simulator, see how the four iron does. So, because we want to make it work for all clubs, so let's do it. Okay, guys, so regular foreign, nothing on it. Regular glove, nothing on it. Going to hit 10 balls, see um, extra how far the yardage is, the dispersity, stuff like that. So, let's get to it. That's a hillbilly kill. Woo! 
Oh, what are you talking about? That was not on the show. All right. So that's ten balls. Uh, so just slightly left. Again, that's usually what happens with my shots. So got one a little bit far to the left here, a little short. Uh, have a couple outliers. The general area is here. Have a couple outliers. We have this one way to the right, and of course, the top that you guys will never forget and never let me hear the end of. So now we're going to switch over to my glove um, and see if it does any better. All right, now we got the thing, the little spiral tape on the club grip. Um, we got the glove on, all the fix-ins. As you can see, the paint is wearing off a little bit. Well, not paint, but yeah. I need to make some more. Um, need to get better materials, but that will be coming soon, uh, I promise. And so we're gonna try with 10 shots with the ultimate grip system. See if it does any better. We're gonna clear up the scoreboard. Keep in mind those numbers on the bottom. How is that on? How how does I hit it on the table? That didn't feel bad. Another one.
Um, square up to two. I think you said you squared up. You kind of like half turn twisted. That was 10, I believe. The last one wasn't the best, but uh, I think we can all agree that uh, the numbers are a little better. The average distance is eight yards farther, which is about a club. Um, I didn't top any of them. If you'll notice, I did not top any of them. It was a little bit more consistent. Every single ball was to the right. Now, I know you guys are thinking, oh, this glove is crap because most of you guys are slicers. Well, guess what? It naturally sets up slightly open to the target. If you, uh, a strong, with a strong right hand, it looks like this. So it teaches golfers to roll the club face, so to speak, a little more because I see too many golfers trying to keep it straight and rigid all the way through their swing and it looks pretty bad and they, that leads to tops obviously when you try to keep it straight it leads to crazy finishes like this which are uncomfortable and can lead to injuries we do not want to injure anybody um, but it teaches golfers who slice the ball to roll the club let the wrist go. Nice and loose grip. Too tight is what causes too far right. So, that's the idea. And you can also say, I was more consistent this time. Because these pairs right here, two here, two here, right on top of each other. Very consistent. Four that are within 10 yards of each other. And even the two that I didn't hit good, they weren't that like bad. Certainly better than that one I hit to the left on the when I didn't have ultimate grip on, and the one I topped. I didn't top any of them this time. So yeah, I think it's safe to say it works. Um, does it work enough for me to be satisfied with it? No, I'm gonna keep working on it. But um it's progress. We can obviously see that it's more consistent. It goes about a club farther. So there you go. So uh, now we're going to move on to the um, closest to the pin with this. Um, if they have a long enough par three for it, because this is a four iron, I don't know if they have long par threes for closest to the pin on the simulator. If so, we will do that right now. We're going to hit our first shot with regular grip and regular glove, so ready to roll. to the normal. Thank you. 
before that time. Took me a while to get there. It took me eight balls to get there, but what did we learn? After a while, my body remembers what I was doing with the ultimate grip. And now that, that's the muscle memory that I'm trying to train you guys that are interested in this. I want to correct your muscle memory. I know you do too. And as you can see, it's starting to come through a little bit. That's the exact distance to the hole. Wow. So yeah, as you can see those last three balls were really, really good. So muscle memory starting to sink in. We got uh, two out of 10 of them on the green. I think another one's on the fringe. I guess we'll count it because I hit it really good. Um, so three out of 10 on the green. Cause I mean, there's trees to the right. Cause my usual shot is a draw. Um, and uh, yeah, that one, that one where I sliced it into the tree. Yeah, that was definitely an out. But the rest of them was uh, either straight or a draw. So my regular is a slight draw. Um, so now we're gonna move on to the ultimate grip. See if we can get any more than three on the green. All right, so got the ultimate grip on now. Uh, the grip has been restored to the ultimate grip system, and uh, now we're gonna hit 10 shots with uh, the ultimate grip system, see if we can get any more than three of them on the green. We're gonna clear the board, start over, do it. You can tell that that was a pretty good strike, though. Like I said, it sets up slightly open naturally because I want you guys to learn to roll the wrists. It's the real deal, like I said in the infomercial. Another dinger, boys. Oh, on top of each other. Oh, 
So we're going to count that one too. on both attempts because we're going to count the fringe both attempts because we're going to count the fringe um, but uh, guys I gotta tell you a lot more of them on the green all, all of them nice and circle in the panel with one right in the middle one right there uh, behind the flight you can't see but you saw it yeah guys this does help you we have proved it. We have got something great on our hands, guys. We really do. Um, I'm planning on making a left-handed prototype pretty soon. After that, uh, hopefully make it out of some better materials. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to my high school golf team and we're going to test it out on the guys. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, that was a lot of balls, but even though it prevailed, my average distance is eight yards farther. Um, I didn't top any of them. I didn't top any of these balls. Um, I didn't big old slice any of them. I pushed a couple of them, but like I said, it sets up slightly to the right on itself because it teaches you to roll your hands over because that's what uh, slicers don't do enough of. So, thanks for watching guys. This is Buffalo Ben 15 Golf. Have a good day, everyone.